Hutchins mm. Victoria Dock, you know mm. he's gone too far and he yes. knows he's gone too far and well, he's trying to get back in my good be, books. A man from Keithley, there's nothing wrong with Keithley. Absolutely. I urge you to make a trip there. <laughs> Have a nice evening. Maybe not. I'm not being, dra <laughs> not being drawn in. <laughs> A factory is being built in North Lincolnshire which will turn leftover food, tree cuttings and garden clippings into coal. The plant at Immingham is the first commercial one in Britain and promises to be a more environmentally friendly way of keeping houses warm. Laura Foster has this. Every year we generate millions of tonnes of waste through what we eat and what we grow in our gardens. Well, now this site on Immingham Docks is going to be taking this waste and turning it into bio-coal. There's over four million tonnes of food waste every year that ends up in landfill. Using it to heat homes and schools going forward is really powerful. The question is how? Creating coal normally takes thousands of years. Well, scientists have now worked out a way to speed that process up. It's called hydrothermal carbonisation. And it can take things that nobody wants and turn it into useful fuel. By adding water and heating the biomass to around 200 degrees Celsius, similar to an oven temperature, what used to take several millennia now takes an hour. So this is the main machine we're working with. The best way to describe it is like a giant pressure cooker. And what you're cooking is loads of vegetables. But the end result in this case is going to be something a bit like coal. The properties in, in terms of combustion are very, very uh, similar to what you would e expect from coal and charcoal. Wherever coal is used or wherever traditional charcoal is used, uh, biocoal can uh, easily uh, substitute. But is it more environmentally friendly than renewable energy sources? We need something to sort of bridge the gap between using fossil fuels now and using totally renewable energy later. And a good way of doing that is by reducing the CO2 emissions of fossil fuel. The new factory in North East Lincolnshire won't open until the spring, but there are already plans for more of these sites near other towns, hopefully reducing carbon footprints and landfill waste across the UK. Laura Foster, BBC Look North, Immingham. The parents of a baby girl born with her heart outside of her body have praised the staff at the Glenfield